Solution to question 7 part 1 The unknowns to this equation are already defined as portion A, portion B and portion C. We try to form a system of equation using these unknowns. First, since the total amount of money is $35,000, we know that A plus B plus C must be equal to $35,000. Next, given that the return by placing portion A, B and C into savings account of POSD, OCBB and non-standard bank respectively is $151.15, we obtain the second equation. The interest obtained by placing portion A in POSD account is 0.0043A. The interest obtained by placing portion B in OCBB bank is 0.0078B. And the interest obtained by placing portion C in non-standard bank is 0.00125C. We see that the sum of these three gives 151.15. The third equation, given also that the return by placing portion A, B and C into investment account of POSD, OCBB and non-standard bank respectively 426, we obtain the third equation 0.012A plus 0.009B plus 0.015C is 426. Placing portion A in POSD investment account gives us 0.12A investment return. Placing portion B in OCBB investment account gives us 0.009B investment return. And placing portion C in non-standard bank gives us 0.015C investment return. The sum of these three must give us 426. Solving the system of linear equation from GC, we obtain that A is equal to 3000 and B equals to 15,000 and C equals to 17,000. Solution to question 7 part 2. To maximize her return, Sherry should match the largest portion with the account that gives the highest interest. Since she has to place the portion in either the investment or the saving account, but not both, in each bank, she will place $3,000 in OCBB savings account, $15,000 in POSD investment account, and $17,000 in non-standard bank investment account. Calculating the total amount, we obtain that the total amount after one year must be $35,458.40.